In last week's episode, we packed our things and headed out of the city of Cape Town for a weekend of wild camping and four-wheel driving on a farm just outside of Lanesburg. We set up camp, I opened up the 2 meter to 70 degree shadow awning for the first time on the Jimny, and then we spent the night relaxing under the stars. Now, it is the morning after. The next morning we woke up to absolute wilderness serenity, the kind you can only get from wild camping. Just us and the noises from the crickets and the beetles in the bush. We took our time getting ready for the day. The plan is to go out exploring and 4 x 4 on the farm, but our friend Anton, who will be joining for the second night's camping, was still on his way. Wild camping means there is no designated campsite, no electricity box, no pre-built fireplace, no tap with running water, no shower and no toilet. You have to do everything in the bush. Yep, everything. <laughs> Soon Anton arrived and it was time for us to pack up deflate our tires and get going on the 4x4 track. I realized that my tires were on 2.6 bar all along, which is super inflated. I had to bring them down to 1.2 for the day's driving. Zani, everybody. <laughs> She's my co-pilot for today. We had a very chilled morning. Uh, literally just got up, lazed around the campsite. Yeah, pretty much. Made a breakfast. <laughs> that sound. Um, and now our other friend Anton, who was in the previous vlog, joined us in his chimney. And now we're going for my boring on the farm. So this should be interesting, but I'm very glad that Tony is here co-piloting with me. Yeah, and Simon is behind me, so he can check things out from the back. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> going too badly to be honest we did hit a little bit of a end of the road here or what we thought is the end of the road because it's kind of washed away but it's actually possible to go over there so they are going to chop some of the branches so we can go through
we're gonna cut some more of those top branches so that it doesn't scratch my car and the awning like it did with Anton's. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too keen about this mission. <laughs> Simon is going to spot me from the front. Mm, okay. Okay, so looking back at the footage now, it doesn't seem as bad as it felt to me in that moment. Getting over that hill with the soft sand and tricky rocks was a big deal to me. I learned a lot. The number one lesson being trusting whoever is spotting you. Nee, dit voel ik raar hier. Lesson number two is that I look like I'm going to cry when I stress about bumping my car. He's telling me to listen to him. Can I get copies on him? for the day. The rest of the afternoon was spent exploring some more, finding a good place to make lunch and then finding a spot where we can camp for the night, preferably one without wind. We've decided we're going to make lunch here, so we are going to braai some budaborsh, 
and see if we want to camp here. We're doing a dry run. If we like this space and the spot, then we'll set up camp for the night and just chill here for the rest of the day. The wind is pumping a little bit, to be honest. So we'll see how it goes and whether it dies down a bit later. But it's obviously this canyon as well that amplifies the wind. But yeah, I'm keen for lunch now. I'm quite hungry. It's half past two. So looking forward to that. I think I've done enough for by falling for today. Okay, lunch is done. We are all nice and full. It was very necessary, so now we can carry on. And yes, so we're not gonna be camping here tonight. It's just too windy, the wind is super intense. So we are going to be making our way back the route we came and then try and find a more sheltered spot to set up camp for tonight. Another thing that I learned of myself is that I definitely like the more chilled side of off-road driving. I mean the side of getting to see beautiful places you won't be able to without a 4x4 and then setting up camp. And not necessarily the side of pushing your vehicle to its limits to get over tricky obstacles. But who knows, maybe that'll change in the future. Okay, so we haven't found a camp spot that's less windy. So we've just decided to go back to the camp spot where we were last night, which is fine. It was a lovely camp spot. So we are making our way back there. And then Anton is going to make us a lamb poiki or lamb stew tonight. So looking forward to that. Once we arrived back at the camp spot, we realized we were probably not going to be able to escape the wind at all. But we decided we are just going to roll with it. We parked the vehicles in a circle to try and block off some wind and we spent the rest of the night around the campfire. There really is nothing like hanging out around camp after an eventful day. Sharing stories, reliving moments from the day and of course making some good campfire food. Ultimately that is why we kit out our vehicles with upgrades, rooftop tents, campers and other overlanding gear. So that we can get out to remote places like this and just enjoy every moment. So if you might be wondering where I am sleeping, since I am here with my Jimny, I am sleeping in the Gen 3.1 tent on Simon's vehicle, because I do not have a sleeping system in or on my Jimny yet. And that might be changing very soon, but you'd have to stay tuned for that.
Okay, we have packed up camp. We are heading out to Lanesburg where I need to fill up because <laughs> I can currently only get another 29 kilometers. <laughs> and then we are going to Mikey's Fontaine. We're going to have a little lunch there and then we are heading back to Cape Town. But all in all, this was a great weekend. I'm so glad I got to 4x4 a bit. I feel a bit more comfortable with the Germany now. And it's just been really awesome to wild camp again. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.